Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the Kuat Transfer V2 2 bike rack here on our 2021 Toyota Sienna. Now the Kuat Transfer is one of my favorite bike racks because of how well it balances affordability and functionality. You have that unique goal post design that makes it easier to put your bikes up and on the bike rack as well as how it has all that nice features you'd expect from a Kuat bike rack at a lower price. Now one of its features is that it can tilt away. To do so, I put the clamp out to the side, then I just step into that bike rack and step on this lever to tilt it down. Now while this is a nice feature, what I did notice though on the Sienna was that tilt is actually not far enough to completely open our door. So I recommend if that's a really, really important feature to you, maybe the Kuat Sherpa or the Kuat NV, which tilt down at a deeper anger might be more preferable for you because I already tried them out. To bring it up, you just lift it back up and it snaps into place. So even if you can't tilt it away, you could just take your bike off, which I'll show you how to do because it's actually really fast. So I would start here at the back with that rear wheel strap. You press that lever and then you pull that strap up and leave it out to the side so it's not tangled up in your spokes. Then you come over here to the front, hold on to the bike as you do so, press this lever, push up on that hook, have that out, and from there, you are ready to go on a bike ride. See? That way you can then open your hatch with the bike down. Uh, while we are here, let's take a closer look at the cradles with the bike out of the way. So here in the back, you're going to have a rear wheel cradle, and this is going to tilt back and forth to accommodate different wheel bases. The maximum wheel base is 50 inches long. You also have this rear wheel, rear wheel strap, and this is going to come down that way. And if you do have a fat tire bike, because the maximum width this strap can contain is three inches, but you can get a strap adapter, and that's going to make it up to five inches long compatible in terms of tire width. Then you come up here to the front, you have a front wheel cradle with different grooves for different tire widths and a front wheel clamp. I really like the front wheel clamp design because I had a carbon frame bike here just earlier and with this kind of clamp, I don't have to worry about accidentally warping my frame. But it's also really useful if you have a women's bike, children's bike, or a step through bike because this clamps down to that front wheel and that way you don't have to get a frame adapter bar. Um, it's up to you where you wanna put that front wheel clamp, but I like to put it out on the outside. That way I can keep this inside of our goal post as open as possible, right over there. So this has a weight capacity of 40 pounds per bike. If you do have a heavier electric bike, then you could get the version that has a two inch solid shank and that's gonna have a weight capacity of 60 pounds per bike. But for most of your normal bikes, 40 pounds is more than enough. You also have some length added to the back of your vehicle. So we're gonna take some measurements just to see how much length you get to work with. So here on our rear bumper of our Sienna, measuring all the way to the end of the bike rack, right where that cable lock, um, lock core is, you have it at 35 and a half inches. That's a little bit on the longer side for a two bike bike rack, but your Toyota Sienna is already a pretty long vehicle. So that's gonna be the length you're gonna have to think about when you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot. Let's also talk about ground clearance. Measuring from underneath our bike rack, right where those trays are to the ground, it's a solid 16 inches of ground clearance. Then measuring underneath the shank to the ground, you have about 10 and a quarter inches of ground clearance. So with the Toyota Sienna, you actually have less ground clearance compared to other vehicles because of how low that hitch sits to the ground. So that ground clearance is very important when you're going up steep inclines like a driveway or a hill. So it's a really good thing that this sits a little bit higher up so your bikes are higher up when you have those inclines. Another of its features is that you can tilt it away. To do so, you press on that lever and then you tilt the bike rack up. 
This is gonna be the position you're gonna wanna in when you don't have any bikes, but you still wanna drive around town. And measuring from our rear bumper, right to where those, that goal post is, it's 11 and a quarter inches. As for the foot lever that sticks out a little bit further out, and it's gonna be at about 13 inches. So as we'll also take a look at the closest point, and that's gonna be from the bumper to the front wheel cradle, and you're gonna have five inches of space between the two, meaning it's not gonna come in contact with your vehicle at any point with it folded up. With it folded up, you can also see how our rear window is open, as well as our tail lights. And here's where the clue at transfer really shines. Here in the middle, we have our backup camera, so that's completely open as well. You can see all the vehicles behind you, as well as our license plate. So other bike racks I've tried on this vehicle did cover the license plate, but here you have that large gap to see it through, which keeps you safe and legal on the road. Now here at the bottom, we'll talk about how this fits into our hitch. So our Toyota Sienna has a two inch hitch receiver. So this has an inch and a quarter shank with an included two inch adapter. So it comes with a hitch pin and a clip. If you do want a lock, you can find one here at eTrailer.com. And it does not have a lock for how it fits into the hitch, but actually uses a security wrench as kind of an anti-rattle device. That's the one downside to the Kuwait transfer because it's kind of a hassle to tighten that down. So if you have it on there, I recommend just leaving it on there. But as you can see, with that activated, as I shake the bike rack around, I'm mainly shaking the vehicle at that point, which shows that any rattle or vibration you're gonna feel is coming from the road and nothing extra is coming from an improper contact between the bike rack and the hitch. Also, while we're here, look at how easy it is to just step on that lever. If you're holding your bike, this can drop down with the other hand. So, my final thoughts about the Kuat transfer on our Toyota Sienna is I do like how all of this is open with the gold post design. It was kind of a bummer that it didn't tilt far away enough to access your hatch, but if you do have a van like this, you might not need to as much. Also, with how quick and easy it is to take your bike on and off, it might not be that big of an issue. It's up to you, and I hope this video helped you decide to see if this is a good option for you. So that was a look at the Kuat Transfer V2 2 bike rack here on our 2021 Toyota Sienna.